some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we find ourselves at a hospital where a man claiming to be a two-time black belt karate expert is demanding to go see his mother in the hospital who he claims is dying but then again later claims that she needs to get out of there. Kind of reminds me of Glenn Serio. I'll sweep your leg. So let's sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Don't act innocent now. What do you have to say? I'm out of the hospital. Yeah, let me read for you. I'll stay right here. I have a right to be here six foot away. I honestly don't know when this was filmed because I haven't heard the social distancing six feet rule in a, over a year. Not since the pandemic, anyway. And he uploaded this on November 23rd of 2022, so just three days from the time I'm working on this video. Guess it took him a couple of years before he decided to upload it. You came back here today. I wasn't restricted, sir. He's lying. We asked him to leave. I came up to the security desk. He refused, he refused to leave. I'm left. Did I leave? I'm out here. To beat us up. I didn't threaten that. Sir, can I, can I it's all on film. Ah, that's the issue right there. You say you have it on film. You were filming inside of a hospital. You know you're not supposed to do that, right? Because of HIPAA laws? Won't leave the building like we're asking him to. He's making a disturbance in the lobby. Um, that's when we called you. No, I asked him to call. Point, at which point he came and said he's going to wait out here for you guys to get here. But we've asked him to leave and he won't leave. You said it's okay. How you doing, sir? Hey, how are you? What, my name? Yeah. Uh, John Camilla. John, what's going on tonight? I already gave my license the last time I was here. I don't That's fine. Okay. I'm kind of, Why don't we just step over right. here so we're not? Well, he, he's all right. Look, the other night. Look, well, just, you're all right. Just fill me in because I'm coming into this blind, so I'm, I'm not really sure what was going on over there. Saturday the night. Or Saturday night. Saturday night. It was Saturday evening. I came in here. And I complained that they were neglecting my mother. Okay. It was on her deathbed. Literally on her deathbed in it. The nurse didn't like it, so she got security to come up. At that point, I have two phones. At that point, I put my phone on the record. What was going on? Because an incident was going on. So the security guards come up and they see me with the phone. And they were and it's all on film. They were grabbing me, one grabbed me, sort of pushing me down tending me down and draped me over my mom who's there on the friggin' deathbed. I'm in there by myself with my mom. Does he want to hear this? No, that's all you can Is that on? Yeah. Yep. You're being recorded. Good. Who was, how you doing? How you doing, sir? All right. Jennifer, and then was, um, the security guards were grabbing me. I said, call the police. And it's all on film. I said, call the police. I want to speak to them. You have no right to put your hands on me. You're filming and they're grabbing my phone and, and decking me down to my mom and all that. At that point, the police came. Okay. And the lady police came and it's all on film. Oh, you just leave for the day and you can come back. She's telling me this on film. And you can come back to the hospital and all that. You just have to leave for the day. So then after a thing, I left. And yesterday, the doctor called me up. You can come back. Just mind your matters and come back and all that. Okay. And I said, okay. So I come back and I get a pass. I mean, I come back yesterday. I went up and see my mom and all that. And then I left. So I come back again. She's on her deathbed. I come back today to visit. And I get a pass and I go up. So while I was going up, I said, hey, who's the main security guard around here? I want to put a complaint in about the guy that attacked me. From there, they took my pass. You're not allowed up here or something. They look and all this created. Okay. That's the whole story. And then they said, leave and all that. And I said, well, let me talk to a supervisor or whatever, and I asked them to call the police. Well, yeah, you weren't welcome in there, because you keep taking your camera up there, which is against the HIPAA regulations. It is the job of the medical professionals to 
honor HIPAA and keep people like you out and from filming everything in sight in those hospitals. I'm just going to go ahead and jump on ahead because he tells the story uh, again to a couple other people. So why deal with the repeats? A little longer than a few minutes later. All right, so they want you to leave and they have apparently put you on their restrictive list. You are not allowed to visit anyone here. So. Okay, well, so who do I file a complaint against? With you? You'd have to basically reach out to Jefferson's For being attacked and all that kind of stuff? For what? Being attacked. You said you already filed a, a report with the officers over the weekend, correct? No. No? So I got the video. Do you want to say it? Officers will take a report for you for what happened over the weekend. You can sign a complaint against the security guard that did that through our court. But they have the right to refuse. To let okay, you I also have the right to sign. I have power of attorney over my dying mom. I have the right and legal work to sign her out. Absolutely. Yeah. And they refuse to do it. Do you have an attorney that could? You could. Uh, I'm power. I have all the papers, so I can bring it. Power of attorney, but are you an attorney? No. So I would highly recommend gathering all that paperwork and reaching out to legal counsel and see how you can get your mother. I don't know. I don't know. I don't think that's. And, and I don't think it works that way, sir. I don't think it works that way. I mean, I'll leave, but I mean. Well, uh, grab his information. Yeah. Give him a report for what he uh, what occurred over the weekend with regard to the assault and uh, give him the case number and. You want to see it or what? You can show us a book. And then we'll have a report on file for that. And, and your you officer, and your female officer lied. She said, well, it's not a crime to lie. What's that about? Why is that? I'm what? Not gonna, I'm not going to speak. She told me to come back. I'm not going to speak on what another officer Look, this hospital is a disaster, okay? It's a nightmare. And I complained about the treatment my mom was getting, right, and they so told me to leave. So you get a license on all your information for what happened over the weekend. Yeah, I gave it to the lady. I'll give you your report number. That's fine. And then once he's completed, uh, I, I well, highly recommend the guard has no right to put. To, look, I understand what you're saying. I'm a black belt in two karate's and jujitsu, and you can go check it out. This is the man behind the camera, John Camillo. Now it looks like he's apparently a bodybuilder at the very least, but that does not necessarily equate to martial arts experience. And I'm telling you, the guard could have got seriously hurt if I would have hit him back. Now, nobody has a right, and even these guys, you think these guys are going to take me on? They have no right to put their damn hands on me. They're not cops, and I didn't break any law. So don't be bullied. They bully me around, and I don't appreciate it. Oh, come on. A big, strong dude like you with apparently all that martial arts experience being bullied? Uh, that sounds a bit laughable to me. Because you're going to mess with, they're going to mess with the wrong person one day, and they're not going to take it, okay? They're not going to take you, it. All right. No, it's not okay, sir. I mean, no, I'm you know. Not it's okay. I'm just asking for it's not okay what they do, man. They go around putting their hands on people like that. I mean, what is this? They're like bullies or something, man. When I didn't yeah, even do anything, though. No, I didn't threaten or doing anything. Just have them right out of the uh, statement. No warrants, no arrests, no nothing. So. I mean, I was arrested, but I got it dismissed. I sued the state police. You can check that out, too. We just need your name I sued the state police before. Camillo versus the state police, look at it, 15 years ago. I made law. Just because you uh, had your case dismissed doesn't mean it falls under a precedent. Well, I've had enough of this guy. If he would have done the simplest thing, like ask to see if it would have been okay to film a ho in a hospital, maybe none of this would ever happened.